Did you know that the longest cricket match in history lasted for nine days? That's right, nine grueling days of intense cricket action. This record-breaking match occurred in 1939 between England and South Africa. Believe it or not, the match ended in a draw because the English team had to leave to catch their ship home. Now that may seem extreme, but it's just one of the many fascinating aspects of this game. So, buckle up as we delve into the basics of cricket. Cricket, often referred to as a gentleman's game, is a sport filled with strategy, skill, and endurance. A game of cricket is a battle between two teams, each comprising 11 players. The objective of the game is quite simple, to score more runs than the opposition. However, the path to achieving this objective is where the charm of the game lies. The cricket field is divided into two halves by a pitch where most of the action takes place. One team bats while the other fields and bowls, with roles switching after a predetermined number of overs or innings. The batting team sends two batsmen onto the field. The goal of the batsman is to score runs by hitting the ball into the field and running between the wickets. The fielding team, on the other hand, aims to prevent the batting team from scoring runs and to get the batsmen out. The team with the highest number of runs wins the game. The 11 players in each team have different roles. There are batsmen, bowlers, and fielders. The batsman's job is to score runs, while the bowlers aim to dismiss the batsman by hitting the wickets with the ball. The fielders assist the bowlers by catching the ball when it's hit by the batsman or by preventing it from reaching the boundary. A cricket match consists of parts called overs and innings. An over is a set of six legal deliveries bowled by the same bowler from one end of the pitch. An innings is a phase of the game where one team bats until 10 of its players are dismissed or a certain number of overs have been bowled. Cricket is a game of patience and strategy. Each player, whether a bowler, batsman or fielder, plays a crucial role in the outcome of the game. The team that can best exploit the conditions and the weaknesses of the opposition usually comes out on top. Cricket may seem complex at first glance, but once you grasp these basics, you'll find yourself deeply engrossed in the strategic play of this fascinating game. Now that you know the basics of the game, it's time to understand the cricket field and the equipment used. Cricket is played on a field of variable size, but at the heart of it all is the pitch a rectangular area of the ground that's 22 yards long. This is where the bowlers bowl and the batsmen bat. The pitch is bookended by two sets of three wooden stumps, known as wickets. Each wicket is topped by two small pieces of wood called bales. The area beyond the pitch is marked by a boundary, usually a rope or a painted line, which signifies the furthest point the ball can reach to score runs. Now, let's talk about the cricket ball. It's a hard, solid sphere, slightly smaller than a baseball, covered in dyed red or white leather, stitched down the center. The color varies based on the format of the game, red for test cricket and white for one day and 2020 matches. The cricket bat, on the other hand, is a willow blade with a cane handle. It's flat on the striking side and humped on the back to provide strength and resilience. The batsmen use it to hit the ball and score runs. But cricket isn't all about offense. There's a significant emphasis on defense too, particularly when it comes to the player's safety. This is where protective gear comes in. Batsmen wear helmets to protect their heads, batting gloves for their hands, leg guards for their shins, and a special guard to protect against any ball that strays too close to the body. Wicket keepers who catch the balls that the batsmen fail to hit also wear gloves and leg guards. The cricket field and equipment may seem a bit complex at first, but once you get the hang of it, everything falls into place. And that's the beauty of this game. The unique layout of the cricket field and the specialized equipment are what make this game distinct and challenging. Scoring in cricket may seem complicated, but it's actually quite straightforward once you understand it. Let's break it down together. In cricket, the primary way to score is by runs. When a batsman hits the ball and runs to the opposite wicket, that's one run. If both batsmen cross each other and reach the opposite wicket, that's two runs. This can continue as many times as possible before the ball is returned by the fielding team. Now, what about boundaries? A boundary is scored when the batsman hits the ball 
and it reaches the edge of the field. If the ball touches the ground and then crosses the boundary line, it's four runs. If it crosses the boundary without touching the ground, it's a whopping six runs. An out is when a batsman is dismissed from the game, and there are multiple ways this can happen. The most common include being bowled, caught, run out, or leg before wicket. Once a batsman is out, they are replaced by the next player in their team's lineup. A cricket match is won by the team that scores the most runs. In some formats, like one-day internationals and T20s, this is determined after a set number of overs. In test cricket, however, the game can last up to five days, and the team that scores the most runs and dismisses the opponent wins. So, whether it's a quick single or a stunning boundary, every run counts in the thrilling game of cricket. Cricket, with its blend of strategy, skill, and endurance, is a game that can be enjoyed by everyone. It's a sport that invites you in, regardless of your age or athletic ability. It's about camaraderie, competition, and above all, having fun. So why not give it a shot? You could join a local cricket club or gather some friends for a game in the park. Even if you're not ready to pick up a bat or ball just yet, you can start by watching a live game. There's nothing quite like the thrill of seeing the action unfold right before your eyes. You'll learn so much just by observing the tactics and techniques of the players. Cricket is not just a game, it's a journey. And it's a journey that begins with mastering the basics. Remember, every cricket great started with the basics. So who knows, you might just be the next cricket superstar in the making.